I have seen more recently more and more sponsors who are really having to put in the effort to get the, the equity, get all the equity in that they need. Um, have you had the opportunity to uh, work on a new deal since we've had the Fed uh, rate hikes? We have not gone all the way to our partners with one yet. Uh, we, we've underwritten quite a number of deals. There's one right now that we're about to submit an LOI on. It, it's not a large deal. It's I, I'm not even sure off the top of my head, but about 150 units. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, we're not going trying to raise 10, 20 million on it. It'll be two, three million or mm -hmm. something like that. And so I, mm -hmm. I still anticipate that that'll fill really quickly. I think I would be concerned right now going to market on a, on a large raise, 25, 30 million, uh, you know, some kind of new asset or new build. Uh, I just think that that's going to be difficult. And, you know, you really need to raise capital if you're raising capital uh, excess because they're going to be surprises most likely at the closing table with the lender. They maybe not it'd be want to deliver the full proceeds or they may you know have a rate adjustment or something like that and so you don't want that to blow up your deal so you just plan for unknowns i think that we've changed about our capital stack or in the process of changing you know because of my perspective coming from the, the regular uh the, the equity markets the capital markets i think something like 75 percent of the net worth in this country is controlled by people that are 55 and older i mean that that's mm -hmm. kind of intuitive because they've had time to save the money and accumulate and invest over the years but their number one need is income and uh, safe income, not a 2% mm -hmm. yield on the S&P that might fluctuate 30%, right? They want stable income. And the Fed has really taken that away with their policies. And so bank deposits really don't pay much. E even when the rates are higher in, in bank deposits, they're never going to keep up with inflation. Um, it's just by design. And so one thing we were asked to do by a, a very large institutional investor was they had an income uh, fund. And they said, can you consistently deliver us you know, 4 or 5%? Uh, we're using multifamily. Well, yeah, that's easy. And then they said, well, could you do um, 20 or 30 million a month? And they're like, wow, okay, so that's tricky. Um, <laughs> so we spent a lot of time trying to think about how could we do that? Mm -hmm. And uh, what we realized was, listen, we're, we're already paying millions of dollars uh, a year in interest to Freddie Mac or to, you know, regional banks and all that. And like, why don't we just create an entity that is the uh, the lender Mm -hmm. as well and, and to send that money to uh, partners that interest income to partners for the the income that they need for the fixed income allocation so it's a different bucket of money it's much more conservative but it's higher in the capital stack for them they're senior uh to the lp or mm. equity money that's in it and it it one thing that is beneficial to us is um in a period like covid you know when it's time to buy or a period like now when deals there are going to be some opportunities to buy in the next uh, you know, six to 12 months, if not you know, maybe 24, but certainly no more than that, where sponsors had assumed they would be able to refi at 300 basis points lower than the bridge note they took out or that, um, you know, there's going to be cap rate compression and now there's not. So they're just going to be stuck and somebody's going to have to take them out of those deals. And we want to be positioned to do that. And the problem with banks these days is, you know, they get aggressive when, when times are good and they, they're never conservative until it's already apparent that they should have been conservative for a year or two. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, it was very difficult to get lending on the four deals we bought during COVID, but because of our experience and, and uh, capitalization, we, we were able to do so. But I mean, those those four deals alone were life-changing. And so mm -hmm. for our partners and for us, I mean, they're just incredible returns. And so by controlling an entity, uh, for partners that that are you know for their their safe fixed income money, um, I think that will enable us to continue participating in difficult times, whether uh, lenders are lending or not.